Alright, walk to the crescendo room. This is going to be the easiest possible way how to get S plus and what to expect when uh, killing the enemies. Game on. It's just going to be a simple tutorial on telling you where the enemies will spawn and what's going to be in front or behind. What me and my friend like to do, as soon as we spawn and we grab one of the... one, I, I grab the right shovel, he grabs the left. He grabs the pitchfork, and so do I. I'll kill the ones on the left, he kills the ones on the right. There's one more pumpkin behind you, I'll kill it. There'll be two on that side, two on this side. Just bonk them on the head for your first hit, and it'll be an easy kill. So all your weapons that on, uh, you know, got any health, and um, you grab some new ones. The spades do, well the shovels do the most damage and they, uh, you know, less the longest. When running th on the damage. <clears throat> yeah, and when you run through here there's two swoopers and a bone maid that will spawn on that roof up there. And moving through there'll be one more bone thrower on this roof here and two more bats above me. Careful. Nice. I just think I hit a home run. <laughs> Alright, there'll be four more pumpkin spices down there and two or three bats. What I usually do is I take a pass over here and wait for the bone maid to spawn and then three more pumpkins will spawn right over there. Whack them on the head so you can keep them and then just move through them just like this. It's the possibly the easiest way to get the kill. If your weapon breaks like that, instantly grab a new weapon as soon as possible. When he comes through, get on that pad there and there is a secret little pumpkin if you want one under there. Moving through, me and my friend like to do a glitch here. Three, two, one. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You have to be perfectly on time. What happens is, is you both open the chest at the exact same time and it'll give you double the silver. Three, two, one. Ah, I picked up the pitchfork. <laughs> Three, two, one. There we go, but it worked once. No, I didn't get it. No, it didn't work. Oh, okay. Well, grab a, grab a whip and grab a blunderbuss or two. There'll be one bone made up top. Right in, so be careful when walking through this door. It'll be on the porch right there. Nice. Don't move too far if you don't want to activate the pumpkins. Yeah, so just wait right here and kill these little swooper dudes. These guys take two hits with the whip and then they will die. Back through one here, hit. there is one more chest. Three, two, one. Hmm, meh, whatever. It works, but we're not going to get that much silver this run, I think. Yeah. Uh, when moving through here, this little archway here, there'll be three more pumpkins right here. When killing them, it'll spawn these next ones in. There will be three pumpkin spices and one bone maid. Be careful of the bone maid coming up top on that porch over there. There'll be three more pumpkins as soon as they are all dead. Let's quickly kill the pumpkins and there'll be three more bats right over here. There's nothing really much to learn about this level except for the spawns. The pumpkins in the chests and that really don't matter. Unless you're going for a silver run and you're saving up for something special. Just keep in mind, if you die on these type of levels, either this level, the next level, or when you're going to stick to the mansion, you may as well restart the run because you only have uh, only have two lives uh, for Crescendo. Yeah. Uh, if you go press plus, you get two lives, depending on the people you have with you. And also, if you die on the starting level, the carriageway level, or the level making it to the front yard, you will not respawn. You will be taken back to the start. Three, two. Two, one. Oops. Hey, at least we've got a flint not just in case one of them glitches. You you can have three weapons attached to you, but the whip cannot be moved from slots. It'll only stay in the slot you first had. There'll be two dogs, barrel dogs, appearing right here. They're really easy to whip or blunderbuss. Three more, four more pumpkin spices will spawn, but it randomizes depending on what look you have. It's pretty good if you get more, so then you get more silver. There'll be one shooter over there, and two shooters behind me, on the left hand side. So it's completely random when, where they spawn. It, yeah, well, I, can't, it, I can't exactly tell you the spawns, it's completely randomised depending on your look. But it's better to get the more enemies, so then you get the most silver at the end of it. Once uh, killing that shooter and the two pumpkin spices, they will uh, s uh, two sweepers will appear on this side right over there. 
On the left side, be wary that they can get glitched on that fun there and they will not move, so you will have to restart if you only have a blunderbuss. But if you have a ranged weapon such as the crossbow or the flint knock, you're completely safe and you can just kill it. When killing them two sweepers, you will get one barrel dog. Wait that. Uh, careful. You will have one barrel dog and two sweepers appear. They're pretty easy to kill! Jeez, that was scary. <laughs> but once killing these sweepers, you will have two more, well, one more dog and more pumpkin spice. They will get glitched on this tree here, so on the left side, it is really easy to defend yourself. When killing them too, put away everything so you don't lose it and you will spawn in the front grave, the front yard of the mansion. During this tutorial, I will not cut any clips except for the loading screen, so you know exactly what we're doing whenever. Be careful that there is one uh, cork shooter when you instantly spawn, and another cork shooter right behind this stone wall. Under the bridge, there'll be one more. There, but we're gonna get those off. Yeah. But there is two more pumpkin spices and one more cork shooter under the bridge, and then you will instantly have two cork shooters right here. Do not go down here until them cork shooters are dead, since there is a flying dog. Dead dog. Oh god, it's in the floor. Well, uh, let's just focus on this dog right here first. He flew at me and I survived. There we go. And there'll be ooh, two more pumpkin spices here. And uh. I usually go under this bridge right here, climb this wall to instantly kill the cork shooter that will spawn right here. While well, ice over there is getting them cork shooters, I can kill these cork shooters right here. And all the enemies will instantly die because we're a, we are, we are a duo. So we get double the whips, double the power. Now on this bridge, there'll be one cork shooter over there, one cork shooter here, and one cork shooter where I'm standing. And there'll be two pumpkin spices over there, one over here, and two dogs right in this wall right here. After me and I are done with this level, we go through the level scanning out for any chests. There is a blunderbuss up there if you would like to, you know, pull that down. But other than that, there's nothing really else to explore. Three, two, one. There we go. It works the first time. There, I believe there's a chest over here in the spawn, but it's completely randomised depending on your look, like I've said a lot of times. <laughs> uh, there okay. is not one at spawn. Oh, I've got my game froze. Is that going to crap? Nope. Okay, it's an invi- Right. Three, two, one. Again, it's worked again. You will get the drops of silver from a... Um, Chest in Cassandra with the Blood Moon are 15 silver, 50 silver, and 100 silver. No, 200 silver, sorry. 3, 2, 1. It's worked again. But if the, always hold your trigger down after opening the chest just in case of any jugs. 3, 2, 1. Oh my, <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> right, you heard it? 3, 2, 1. It didn't work that time, but it's completely fine. Load yourself up with a f um, any weapons of possible because you will Wait, need them in this next part. Sometimes if you're really lucky, you can find a secret chest here. Three, two, one. And also for a little law, a little bit of law, because this is Dracula's mansion, this is was his plan to burn down the village for them um, killing his wife. I'm pretty sure that's correct. I don't know the full 100%. Yeah, this is, my, what, this is part of my theory. He um, burned down the I village. Like, you don't have to believe my theory. Um, I, there will probably be a theory on my channel or George's channel. I'll leave Vice's channel down in the description. He will do solo quest tutorials while I will be doing party quest tutorials. In all honesty, I think you should always try to get a friend no matter the level. Just watch this video again and again or watch Baba Sire's. He does really good tutorials. But if you would like to watch mine, then that is completely fine. Always remember, I'm not the expert here, and but Boba Thaya is. <laughs> so he's probably the best person to watch, but if you want to watch me, it's all yours. Right, there, there'll be, um, I forgot to say, there'll be um, two pumpkins straight by the door. Oh god, my game froze. Uh-oh! Okay, we are good. Oh! Okay. Alright, but when you, when, 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 you spawn, when you come through here, 
there will be um, two shooters and two uh, pumpkin spices right in the middle by the huge gates. Then when killing them, you will spawn one shooter, three pumpkin spices over here by me. When killing them, there'll be one more shooter over there as well as I believe one pumpkin spice and one bone made. After all they are dead, rip down this huge um, gate and two bone maids and two pumpkin spices will spawn. They can be a chest up there in the fountain and there can be one over there and one over there. Three, two, one. Alright. Depending on the amount of people you have, that is a certain amount of deaths you can have. We will try not to get any more, but the AI chip is very glitchy at the time being. Alright, let's get this first. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> We've got two 200s. Yeah. When loading in, this is when you get your first checkpoint and you can always come back here. Remember, it's not always about the S+, plus. you can get whatever rank. Under this huge area by the dog cage, there will be um, a either a chest on this side or this side or none. Three, two, one. Nice. There you go. We're going to be needing some boys for later, for later levels. Yeah. And you can trust me on this. You will try to keep all your ranged weapons until later on, because there is one level that you will definitely need some ranged. You can find a chest there or there. Uh, and you can also find some on the ch chandeliers here. Three, two, one. Nice. Moving down to the... Well, moving up to the... Area. Yeah, you can also find some in the Dracula. Is there any? Yeah, there is. Alright, cool. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. Um, right, so, uh, come up the stairs and you'll find your first door, which is the library. What you will find in here, as soon as you spawn in, there'll be three pumpkin spices right in front of you, so be on the guard. Load in, and there'll be two to three pumpkin spices. We got the two pack. Well, actually, no, we got three. When loading in, you will have a chance to have some chests, either on this couch here or this chair here. And there's a lot of candles which will give you three sil gold, silver, sorry, while the mini candles only give you two. We're walking in here. Now, there is actually a coach's trophy here. This yep. is before it was taken. All right, let's move over to here. When coming over here, there'll be one shooter right down there and a bone made and two pumpkin spices. I'm just gonna let this corker shoot. Gonna move back a little. Once he takes his shot, I like moving onto her and killing this one as well as the bone maid. After killing the bone maid, there'll be one sweeper down there and a shooter, a cork shooter, right under there where I'm pointing currently. Let him take his shot and then we can move in and easily take him out. Moving back here, you will have okay, you can have a chance to have a chest in the coffin or on here. Just here. A chest here, yep. chest there, or, or a chest there. Alright, three, two, one. Oh wow, that's a oh lot. My. We just We just got triple twenties. I mean, two hundred, sorry. Oh, uh, after I'm done with this quest, which will be about 35 minutes. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, that's silver. Raining silver. All right, one more here. Three, two, one. Juicy, juicy silver. You can also whip this or destroy the candle for three extra silver. Coming in here, there'll be five skeleton, well, skeleton uh, pumpkin spices. Yeah. I don't really recommend rushing it. There'll right, be five pumpkin spices up. and one bone made up right over here by the um, teller's area. And then one more pumpkin spice there. When killing one of them, you'll have a, a sweeper and a skeleton pumpkin spice over here, as well as a sweeper and a shooter over there. Killing these guys will summon two more bone maids right in the middle, so be on guard. And thank you. Kill these shooters and they will instantly die. There'll be an infinite blunderbuss. There'll be an infinite blunderbuss here. Every time you destroy it, it'll respawn. Three, two, one. Good stuff. Coming over here. Three, two, one. Nice. 
And I knew that. Mm -hmm. And this is where you get to your first boss. If you made it this far, great. And if you're a new player, awesome. You've made it to your first boss, the Bone Thrower. She throws uh, explosive bones that will deal, uh, that will kill you instantly if you're hit. You can whip it back at her. Lucky, uh, she can kill your own enemies with the bones, or even hit herself. It usually doesn't damage herself, but there's a chance that it possibly can. Let's whip her, since it's better to stay long range and as best as possible, since you don't want to get hit by her. Move back as far as possible, but they only have a little blast radius. But they will still do a lot of damage and kill you. If you're solo, be on guard a lot since they will oh God. instantly kill you. The lag saved my life. <laughs> oh god, I'm lagging constantly. This this quest is a very laggy quest, so I'd recommend staying away as far as possible from enemies so you don't get lag spiked and then instantly die. The lag saved my life. <laughs> But when um, coming, when someone in the bone made, there will be two sweepers, two skeleton pumpkin spices, and two more shooters. Oh, move back from that. Stay as far away as possible from her bones, and keep whipping her all the way until she dies, or shooting her, depending on what you prefer. Uh oh, when she dies, she will make that sound of her like kind of scream-ish, if you think about it. And then you have beaten your first boss. Make sure to kill the remaining enemies that are probably stuck or something. And then you're, and then the Dracula coffin right here will open up, and you'll have a few enemies spawning around you. Three, two, one. Well, it looks like we killed all the enemies, so there'll be nothing spawning. Okay. You can have a chest spawn in this coffin right here, and right here. They're the only chests in this level. That's a lot of silver for this level. You usually gain about one point two thousand. Moving through to the cork shooter boss. When moving through here, you're going to have this massive bookshelf open up. I like coming here and instantly just starting to whip every single one of them. But sometimes you can have a bit of lag. After doing that, instantly jump up here for the best safety possible. Only the shooters can hit you, but they're not a problem to kill. Just jump every now and then and they will not kill you. I don't know this one's exactly for this part, so just leave me on this one and just stay as safe as possible up there. There'll be two more shooters, that's what I know of mostly. Kill them, and they're dead. One more pumpkin spice in this corner. When she's dead, you can move through. And there'll be uh, no swoopers here, okay. Oh god, there's oh, a yeah, batter on this corner. Keep in mind, next level graveyard. I hope you, you have very good internet connection. Because it's not even internet right connection, here. it's frame rate. It's frame rate. Yeah. Because this is going to be a very laggy level. All right, let me chest. move through. Right, there is one chest right here. Three, two, one. Nice. And come to me. Oh, yep, come sorry. Come to me. Yep. This is one. Oh, yeah, one chest in the middle here. Three, two, one. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> You can get very lucky with these chests and get a lot of silver. Sometimes you can find a chest. Sometimes you can find a chest up there, mm -hmm. or another one down there, but just below the thing. You can instantly whip this, and it'll instantly fall down. Books are your friends in this level, as you can see a hidden stash. Let's do the one on the left. Three, two, one. Nice. Let's do the one in the middle. Three, two, one. I commit. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes if you have loads of loot, to separate it, just whip it and it goes all over the place. And so it's easy it. to organise. You could also have a chest right here in the middle. Using the crossbows or flintlocks will instantly one-shot pumpkins in the head no matter how powerful they are. They will instantly kill bats too. Uh, tap up this book up there if you want another three chests and it'll find a secret for you. You'll be access to three more chests. Let's do the one in the middle here. Three, two, one. 
Sorry if you guys get tired of the three, two, ones. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just a thing we do, just yeah. uh, so we can get it duplicated. Three, two, one. <laughs> the jealousy is gonna roll in after all this look we're having. Right, three, two, one. Oh, oh my god, we're getting so lucky. Oh yeah, just to let you know, this glitch can be done done in Isle as well. Yeah, it can be done in Isle of Lost Skulls as well, which is going to be our next quest tutorial, if you would like that. Credit to a person telling us this glitch for Isle, but then when we tried to test it in Crescendo, it works. And we were very happy because it will make our life a lot easier when grinding, because they are always on the ground. I'll leave my name in the description if you would also like some, maybe a possible carry on the, um... We, um... Have got a glitch one outside the map. Oh yeah. You do oh, your yeah. thing. So usually yeah. it does spawn outside the map as well as the glitch. But what I do is I all come instantly back here while he glitches through. He uses it, well we're on PSVR so we are able to just go to our settings and go to advanced and instantly glitch our head through the wall and he can kill the pumpkin. If it falls off the map it will die to the death barrier. When standing back here you're gonna have a few enemies spawn up here on top of the shelves around this corner. You will know if there's one at the map by the battle music still playing. There we go, now they will start spawning and you can instantly just kill them all. Philip you're already back, wow <laughs> that was quick. Just mow them down, every single one of them. Don't let them live, they're evil. Even though we're invading their home. Don't let the doggies live. The doggies are also a very big pain. They are very scary when they sprint after you. That's why it's best to have a blunderbuss. Also, but I recommend doing this in VR. Screen players, you can do it, use the same strategies. But it's very difficult. Strategies. It's very difficult. You can't get up these like places VR players can, because we can gesture ourselves. Kill this little one here, and then you're done with the level. You can also find yep. some secret hidden chests, as there's one right over here. Yep. Right here, behind you. Oops, I went to do the bring it. <laughs> right, but to okay. so get in the next level, it's going to say something about partaking hard reading. It's that book right there, and it will say, Ranger Roy's gate unlocked. When opening okay, his gate, you'll be taken to the cork boss. Unless you have cover. This is a hard boss on the What me and Ice like to do is I hide here while he goes up there and covers me. I keep him covered from this angle while he keeps me covered from that angle, from any shooters or pumpkins. It's so all the enemies are dead, we like we're hiding behind this wall, and I'll give you a further explanation in a second. I'm gonna move a little bit forward here to take down anything here. There'll be one bone made on one cork shooter in this little corner here by me. You could just instantly kill them, but be careful of the cork shooter. Oh my god! Holy shenanigans! Do not whip like that! <laughs> Do not throw your whip around like I just did, because I nearly just got myself killed. Once all the enemies are dead, there is one more swooper. Uh, not swooper, sorry. Uh, bats. There we go, the bat is out outside the map that is down. Just make sure to hide right here and just whip him all the time until he pulls up his weapon and just hide behind these brick pillars. When doing so, he will not be able to shoot you and you can just kill him easily. It's a win-win. Oh, my game froze again, man. Right, can none here? There we go, sometimes you can duplicate it depending on the fast. I uh, chest? Okay. Three, two, one. Oh my god. And we are getting very lucky, as you can see. Like, we're going to get a lot of silver. Like, a lot. When moving up here, you're going to get ambushed by one dog, or possibly two dogs, depending on your look. And the best thing to do is just move down as soon as possible. Yeah. With Be the careful and run straight back as fast as you can so you don't get killed. But these when dogs you... are going to run. Yeah. And if you have experience with the whip, then go ahead and stay up here. But... Sometimes it's best not to. We're gonna get 6,000. Usually it's 2,500. We're getting very lucky and using a glitch. Red Cream don't ban. <laughs> We're just here for experiments. And plus, as soon as I get my midnight jacket that I've been wanting for weeks, I will instantly move on to Isle of the Lost Skulls and start gaining my other things. And then I'll be doing a tutorial on how to get S rank. S rank is very easy, in my opinion. But it's very laggy. If you use the cannons and kill the skeletons, you're guaranteed gonna crash. So never use the cannons for the skeletons in the boss fight. <laughs> but let's keep this about Crescendo. 
this is the level where you're going to need all your ranged stuff. But what me and Ice oh, like doing. Now, yeah, not now. At the next boss. But come Upside in. Down ballroom, Three, be a pain two, if you have no... one. Sorry. It can be. It can be a pain if, if you've got no uh, range. Moving over here, there will be some. Sh oh my god, I give up. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh god. There we go. Cool. We're moving down here. You. Uh, oh, there's a one more chest right here. Over here, Ice. There is one more tiny bit of silver we left out, but I'll go get that in a second. Three, two, one. Oh, sorry. But when you spawn. I uh, know there, there is not. There. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, that's all you. The Dracula boss fight area. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Make sure to scatter the entire ballroom for any chests since you don't want to miss out on any, because they could really help you out. Three, two, one. Wait. Oh, uh. sorry. Alright, Move it. when you spawn in, you once you've looted up, go down here and you will have the graveyard level open. I'm going to recommend one thing. Stay back and do exactly what me and Ice do since it's the safest way to beat this level. Since you will have major lag and your whip will always go down just like this. So just stay where me and Ice stay since it's the safest possible way. We're moving through here. You could also start doing this with your whip if you want a perfect whip, but it takes a lot of practice to underarm. You can have three pumpkin spices that spawn right here. They're pretty simple to kill. You guys you... won't be able to see what I'm going to do, so should I just send the call to you? Um, no, I can. I know exactly what you do anyway, so I'll just explain. When killing them three pumpkin spices, Ice Hit runs it down to the middle and instantly turns around after spawning in all the enemies. They will slowly come over here and we slowly kill them. After everything's dead and the battle music has stopped, we move through again, but then run back one more time and all the swoopers will die. Um, because they will jump through the map and through the floor and instantly kill themselves. Then you'll only have to worry about two more enemies, a bone maid and a cork shooter. To killing them, you move through and you go on to the next part of this level. It's, it's really patient. about patience. It's really just about patience. That's all I can really say. As long as you're patient, you got this in the bag. You can hear them spawning right now. You can oh, also go up there. Sorry. If you're a beginner, yeah, if you're a beginner, go up there and you keep safe and you cannot die. Well, you can from bone maids, but that's about it. And shooters. Uh oh. Remember, swoopers can be hard. They they like to take. And they're tiny, ground. and they are very tiny. Yeah. You can hear the battle music going on. I think I've got my audio a little tiny down though. So let me turn my audio up. You can hear the battle music going on. So that means that there are still enemies out there. Oh wait. Excuse I can see chess with my watch. I never yeah, actually do that. Yeah, you can do I can see through walls. Like, well. There's a chest really far down at the end of the level. Whoa, what was that? Something's attacking. Okay, we're good now. Wait, it's like it's through the floor. I think we have one through the floor, mate. No, we don't. Because I hear it. Whenever you, whenever yeah. you kill someone, it still does the sound Move back. when Woo. it's alive. Careful. Nice. The bone maids are, in my opinion, one of the worst things to go against since they're the most annoying. Do not cross this lost track in as you will probably guarantee death if you're very if you're not careful at all, because they will start shooting. The cop shooters. I still hear some skeletons, so let's just wait it out. Here we go. Patience is key. Mm-hmm. I'm probably going to end up blocking this person because they have non stop by me all day to Jumbotron. But what Philip go what Ice goes down here and does is goes back to oh the middle. Oh my god! Did all the swoopers just kill themselves? There's like a million enemies! Is there actually? I'm, dead. I'm so dead! Come on, you can do it, Phil! I'm coming through! Don't come through, don't come through, you're dead! You'll be dead! No, I'm not. Whew. I'm just gonna keep killing them. What? There was like a million of them. We're just gonna move through a tiny bit. Sweep up. Right. Moving through, you're at the end of the level here, and this is why it's best to be very careful as much there's as possible. A pumpkin slices. Spices? <laughs> yeah. I thought they all died. And after everything is done, you can just kill this last one. Oh my god, I can't kill it, please. 
The whip is so buggy. Thank you. There we go. All right, the level is done. Come here. Let's get this last chest. Or the last few. Three, two, one. Really good. <laughs> very, very good. All right, right here. Three, two, one. Oh, I grabbed this over. Right, one last chest here in the middle, I believe. Yep. Three, two, one. Very, oh, jug. Alright, so. Hmm. Uh, do you want a crossbow? I've got two. I've got two huntsmen's. Um, right, I guess I'll have to drop one and leave one down. Let's move through. Coming through the rec room gate sign, you'll have two more shooters right down here. Second temp of the day, due to um, a, um, a water scrolling and the sweeper getting stuck. Yep. We were recording a tutorial, but the sweeper did get glitched out where I hate it getting glitched. It always happens to me. We, won't, we probably won't show you it, but in a later video, we probably will. Though what to be aware of and what will happen sometimes. So it's genuinely like not your fault if it does end up happening, it's just the game. Being a bit of a, you know, annoying. I'm not gonna swear, mate. I don't want to swear. I, I, I want to. I just want to make a tiny little. I'm well, not really tiny because it's gonna be about half an hour long, and probably more. I just want to make a little video showing how to solo it or well, duo it. Sorry. You good there, Ice? Oof. That's what I mean by the whip being so annoying to use. Right, I have my game freezer, it's still irritating. There's little dogs trying to kill me. Nice. Alright, there's a chest back here. If you want to come through. Three, two, one. Okay, didn't work. Can I... BAM! There we go. But, um, when coming through here, uh, this level is pretty easy and simple. You just get uh, quite yeah, ambushed. You have, you, have, you have one person killing the boss while the other one protects them. So, what me and Ice like doing is I like jumping on this massive tombstone while he kills the little skeletons down there. If you're solo, just let them come to you. You're completely safe. After killing four of the pumpkin spices, the pumpkin king will spawn. What I like to do, I gain his attention by whipping him. When you have to wait, I literally just do this while he keeps me covered by killing them bats on and pumpkin spices. They'll only spawn one at a time, so don't worry. If you're solo, I'd recommend being very active since the shooters will kill you very easily if you're not careful. In solo, you want to keep running back and killing all the enemies while you're hitting him. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then when the, you, if you spam it quick enough, you can duplicate it twice just like I did just there. Just be very careful because they do kind of, you know, come at you without you knowing. But it's completely fine. Okay. Right. Oh, last one. I believe it's the last one, I think. You no, know, you might. Nope, one more. <laughs> well, I keep saying one more, but it probably isn't going to be the last one. There we go. Up here you have the massive tombstone saying rest in peace with two chests always on the bench. There are always going to be two. And maybe one right here if you're lucky. Three, two, one. Oh my. We 270 just, just, just fell through the floor. Three, two, one. <sighs> right, come in. Three, two, one. Good, long range. All right. Do you want to take a flintlock? Actually, I'll keep hold of it for you. Hope we are. 1.9 thousand. Moving through here into the inverted ballroom. You're on your second to last mini boss. Come here. Sometimes you'll probably get Ooh, one, two. one right. chest and you'll get two if you're lucky. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. That makes up for us losing out on a bunch. There we go. There's a lot of candles here for you, so I'd recommend breaking a lot. Since you get a lot of... Oh my god, my game keeps freezing, man. This is so irritating. I will need to probably end up restarting my app after this run. It's 
Because we are currently on one death, but it was because of a pumpkin glitching out, like usual. I mean, it's kind of normal for stuff glitching out in this quest. Oof. Oh my god! Oh my god! I hate when I get too close to them like that. And also, <laughs> if you play Crescendo a lot, then you're going to be receiving a lot of requests if you're wearing my gear that I'm wearing. You're getting, you're getting also, constant notifications midnight, with midnight carries. Chest was not an easy quest for me. But I've got to completely say out. Oh god, my game keeps freezing, bro. I've got to completely say that if you're going to see someone with Crescendo gear and you want they, they you want to carry, just ask them once. Don't spam them with requests. That's why in my bio I ask for payments for the full gear. So if you want to add me, I'll show you my bio right now. Wait, this Here's, is not enough time because you're going to be sharp. Yeah, I know. Uh, for one S plus, it's a three star. Two S plus, it's a four star box. And full S plus and aisle for a five star. I can't let my shots to save my life. This is what we mean by the ranged weapons. He will go all the way up to the top and kill the cork shooters that will spawn on him and the bone maids that will spawn on him. Well, I stay at the back and kill these two spawn locations of enemies, but sometimes it does take a lot of ammo, ammunition, so I'd recommend packing yourself up. Soon, if you're playing my part, you will have one bat spawn in. After killing that bat, the bat boss will spawn because he's annoyed that you killed a bat. But sometimes there isn't a bat and it'll take you off guard. It happened to me yesterday and I, I, I nearly died, but I know how to dodge him. Trust me, all the bats spawned at me once. They messed yeah. up. They also spawn under there. That's why he has to go under there to set these guys off. After killing this bat, after killing them ones under there, one pumpkin spice or two, depends. And then the bat boss. I'm going to move a little back because I know he will spawn. There he is. He's currently after ice over there, but all you got to do is just jump and you're completely safe. Try whipping him if possible. I'm going to fall back a tiny bit because of the bone made. Jump! Oh god, that was too close for comfort. And he's dead. There we go. And you should be done with the level sometime soon. We will have a few more enemies spawning. Careful of any sweepers. Right, here we are. Thank you. Thank you for my cover. That's my back. Oh god. And sweepers are very dangerous. <laughs> They're very irritating. Cut this lap back and you're done. There you go. Alright, after a crash, I'm back. All the chests have been opened. Meh, whatever. I knew my game was going to crash sometime soon. Okay, right. Oh, can I put it in my left? Are you serious? <sighs> whatever. Yeah, when you put it in your left, it sticks in your left. You no, know, I didn't even put it in my left. Oh, wait, uh, have you started recording? Yeah. Okay. Oh, God, I nearly right, shot you then. Um, George right, yeah. just crashed. So what yeah, can you <laughs> I crashed. I broke every single chandelier where you gone. I was so bored. Mm. Moving on to the dog level. We are doing a carry right now as well, so I will be inviting a friend straight after. At the last year, the Dracula. There is very many chests in this level, and you can get quite a bit. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. <laughs> what I like doing is just swooping it. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Yeah, thank you. Three, two, one. Nice. Come here, come here. But then I'm just quickly grabbing two candles. How many grabbing two candles? I know. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. There. Yeah. Moving down here. You come down this spiral staircase and then on the right there will be a curtain that you can go through. And there'll be a chest uh, behind here and right here. And there can be one over there, which there is. Three, two, one. Oops. Oh, so there's this little goblin there. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> I thought you were going for the other one. Yep, a boop. Goblin shooter. Coming through the traps, you can instant after that one just shoots, just come straight through. The one chest here. Three, two, one. Nice. Right, oh, God, come, come to this curtain and they will always, after everyone's there, they will all turn off. Three, two, one. Oh, I got the crossbow. Whoops. All right. Jump through here and just stay on the wall until it comes through. Run through. And wait right here by this pillar and let it hit the wall and then run through. You kind of have to stick very close but it should be very easy. Be careful of these axes, they will lose 20 combat rank from you and disarm you with all your weapons that you're holding. You can also get rid of your whip. Yeah, um, and you... And trust me, I had to defeat this dog boss with a torch. Yeah, he defeated Not the dog fun. boss with a torch. That's how, that's how annoying it was when he lost his whip. It only did like little pixel damage, yeah. which was annoying. And I was there, I was just laughing my head off like, why? Three, two, one. Nice. Three, two, one. Yeah, sorry. Through her, you wanna grab this blunderbuss right here, move through her and come back and there'll be a bunch of enemies ambushing you. Hey, that's what I do. Well, it's now what I do. Oh my God. This is exactly why I need my whip in my right hand side, because I'm always ready. And there'll be a four more pumpkin spiders on your left. Careful, thank you. Loads of sweepers in front of you, so be ready for an ambush. <laughs> Come here. Uh, let's grab this chest right here. Three, two, one. Come to me. Yep, coming through. Three, two, one. Nice. Come through here, and there's one more chest. Three, two, one. Okay. There we go. Come through here, there'll be two bone maids right down here that I kill as soon as possible. There we go, my one's down. Careful. You got her? And now the big boy has awoken. Okay, we're bullying people now. That's always nice. The big boy Chungus has awoken. Let this axe go through and come straight down if you want some free chests. Whip the jug because there is one in the pirate's hand. Three, two, one. Big 200. Three, two, one. Okay. Move through here. I come picked through. that up just before it despawned. Yep. Go through this corner. And me and Ice have a tactic here. Let's go get these chests real quick. Three, two, one. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, that was close. And then what he does is he drops it down. You do your thing. He brings him right to me and I just whip him. And he can't do anything. And he just chases me and he can't do anything about it. The dog boss sprints at you, which is very annoying, and he is very scary. Right, here we go, and we will duplicate the last, last bit. Three, two, one. Ah, okay, we only got it once. Unless you got it twice, I really don't know. I only got it once. 3,400 only once, but it does. The last part, Dracula. As you can see, it says it's banged it twice, but it, it's just for display. It's not it, like doesn't jump or anything. Yeah. You wanna I come on? Anyway. You wanna come underneath? Oh. Over here. There's one right here. Three, two, one. Yeah, pitchfork. 
Uh, I believe there's one up top. And through here, right here. Three, two, one. Another pitchfork. Pitch Let's go to the Dracula part. No, nothing. Is that all the chest? Is there any up top? No. Yeah, oh, yeah. There's two up top. Mad. Three, two, one. Nothing. Ah. Okay, three, two, one. Nice. Let's go to Dracula. The boss fight everyone wants. <laughs> Alright, moving through. This um, uh, me and I like to do is loot up every single chest we can find until Dracula spawns. Welcome. Because we get a bit of time it until he spawns. Looks like we're the last ones here. I was beginning to think you wouldn't make it with all those details. Nice. Man. <laughs> Do you want to get in the middle? Because I'm the mirror person. Enough! How about you? Right, let's go. Hopefully it spawns in the middle so we can just get off. No. I know. Hello, mate. Don't get too close, he'll jump here. Sorry, I wasn't on the mirror. I wasn't on the mirror in time. Hopefully he just chases after you. Yep, after me. <clears throat> on the first stage, he'll just shoot a bunch of, like, things. Fireball is that, yeah? One second. Right, I'm gonna kill this pumpkin. It, I think it's what any of them underneath you. No, it's the one where I'm on, right under you. Is it? No, it ain't. No, it isn't. I see it. On you. On you. Nice. Whip it. Nice. He's about to die. Nice. He's dead. Sorry, I wasn't on the mirror in time. I'm just going to crouch down here so I can climb this. You might want to move because he's going to spawn outside the map. There we go. Next hit down. This is when the cork shooters will start to spawn. I want to quickly invite the person. There we go, he's been invited. Oh my god. They're fast as Sanic. Sanic! Oh god, that was close. Don't kill it just yet because um, our friend has got to join. Oh, he's joining. Gents is here. Let's just stay in party shop, we don't need to. Oh god, I need to recal my hair, don't kill it. Actually, I'm okay. A lot of them are spawning in behind you. Gents is going in, bro. No, he's cornered. No, oh, he's okay, he's, go he's going great. Come on, Gents, he's doing great. Oh, it's this one, it's this one. Nice one, gents. Uh oh. No! Oh, he got so lucky there. Nice! And that is how you get S plus in Crescendo of the Blood Moon. Here we go. Let's see that 15,000 silver. 50. Oh, he got the cape! He got the cape. All right, I and I got twenty to oh, oh, ten tokens. You didn't equip it, but good for you, mate. Hmm. All right, yeah. open so your box. Forty. 40. Oh, I feel abused. Let's have a look to show you that we did get S plus. S plus, right Ready here. To start. Let's go to the gift shop and see how much I earned. Whew, Twenty-six thousand. All right. I guess I'm that's gonna, really it. I guess that's it. Thank you for watching, and see you in the yeah, next one. I, I guess. <laughs>